welcome everybody to Red Earth um, on virtual tour. It's lovely to see everybody. And um, what I'm going to do is just check that there are adults in the room with children. So just make sure that you've got your adult with you. And I'm going to welcome you to Calm and Creative in a Crisis, which is the first event in our Red Earth virtual tour. So theatre is about um, bringing people together in a room to make a story. And unfortunately, we can't do that at the moment, can we? Because we're all in lockdown. So we thought at Red Earth Theatre that it would be brilliant to ask you to help us to work on the book that we're, we're actually working on now to um, adapt for our next show. So I'm going to show you the book and it's called The Red Tree by Sean Tan. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit phased because to show you the book round the right way, I have to take off the mirror image thing on this. So I'm a bit, my mind is a bit kind of like um, confused by what I'm showing you, but hopefully you can see it. Um, we're not going to deal with the whole book. We can't, but all the sessions are going to be based around one image, which is in the middle of the book. And if I can get this right for you, I'll show you what it is. So if you look, I'm going to go in on the text and it's cool. And it says, wonderful things are passing you by. And then if you pan out again, you'll see that there is an image there. And if I go straight in to the corner, can you see that there is a, oh, Oh, wrong way around there's a little girl there and she's looking out of the window and she's got her two hands up against the window pane looking out and if you move along there on the window pane is a lock so she's locked in wherever she is and she can't get out but if you draw back the photo or the painting on the book. It's a beautiful image and there are lovely, wonderful things above her head, beautiful colours, beautiful things passing her by. And our, we thought, while we're in lockdown, what are the wonderful things that are passing us by? What are the wonderful things that you think are passing you by while you're stuck where you are? But we also thought maybe there are wonderful things happening where you are anyway, even if you are in lockdown. So that is what we're going to concentrate on. But my job today is to start with some really fun storytelling games to help us start thinking about how we make plays. So we're going to look at some, um, some games that I'll show you. And then hopefully straight after this session, you can go away and do those games with things that are in the house. That's the whole point. Every session is going to be about things you can do with things you've got in the house. So I'm going to show you something. So I've got a story box. This is what I'm calling my story box. It's actually somebody gave me a present in it, but I'm making it into a story box. And this is the first game. The idea is that you put three objects in that box. They can be any objects that you find in the house that fit into the box. If you haven't got a box, by the way, you can use a, a bag. So it's story box or story bag. So you put three objects in the box and you close it up and then you go to somebody else in the house and you say tell me a story and the idea is that they look in the box and they pick out the, the objects and they have to tell you a story from them now, there are three simple rules they have to use all the objects one two three in the story they have to start the story with once upon a time there was. 
And the third rule is that somewhere in the story, the sentence, wonderful things are passing you by, has to be included. So I'm going to have a look in the box now and see what there is. So this is the first object. Ah, now this is a red and white striped sock. Red and black. A red and black, sorry. Thank you, Wendy, red and black. So number one object is a red and black striped sock. And the next one is an apple, a juicy red apple. Mm. And the third one is a black button. Now, I have to think about this. So the challenge is that you have to tell a story with those three objects. So I'm going to start as an example. Right, I'll just drop me apple. Right, so once upon a time, there was a boy who loved red and black striped socks. In fact, he loved them so much that he wouldn't wear anything else but red and white, uh, black striped socks. So he wouldn't wear blue ones, he wouldn't wear orange ones, he wouldn't wear white ones, he wouldn't even wear yellow ones. But there we are. That was what he wore. This boy also loved apples. In fact, he loved apples so much that that was the only thing he would eat. He would only eat red apples. He wouldn't eat bananas. He wouldn't eat pears. He wouldn't eat satsumas. He wouldn't even, even eat pineapples. Oh dear, what a complicated boy. Right, I'm not actually going to finish that story. I'm going to let you, so you can actually finish that story off if you want. I'm going to let you imagine what you think is the next bit of the story. And don't forget, there's a black button involved. Okay. Um, oh, and you have to put the line in, wonderful things are passing you by. Thank you. Thank you. My prompt, Wendy is here prompting me. So that's one of the one of the games. And just as a little bit of the help as well, there might be objects in the box that um, actually prompt you to think of stories that you already know. So there is in this box actually a white stone. Now this reminds me of a story that I really love. It's called Hansel and Gretel. It's a fairy tale. Some of you might know it. And Hansel, when he hears that his stepmother and father are planning to take them into the forest and lead them, he very cleverly goes and picks up lots of white pebbles and puts them in his pocket. And when they go along in the woods the next day, I don't know if you remember this, he drops the white petals, pepple, 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 pebbles along the road so that when they're left in the, in the night in the forest, Hansel is able to follow the white pebbles back home by moonlight and get back home safe. So a very clever young boy. So you can use the objects to tell stories that you already know. Once you've told that story, <clears throat> I mean, once you've got somebody to tell that story, they can then go and fill the box with three other objects and come back and ask you to tell them a story. So it's about exchanging stories. The final game is what I call the magic box game. So this one, you go and you find one object, one single object, and put it in the box. And the object then has to be uh, the magic object in the story. 
Um, and it's the same, you go to somebody and you ask them to tell a story with that object and the three rules are the same. So you have to use the one object, it has to be in the story. The second rule is that <clears throat> you have to start with, once upon a time there was a magic, whatever the object is. And the third rule is that in it, you have to have the phrase, wonderful things are passing you by. <laughs> out of here and I'm going to show you how it might start. So I don't know if you can see but this object is a ring and on the ring is a heart. Now I have to think how am I going to start this story? So once upon a time there was a magic ring that had a heart on it. And anybody who wore the ring was blessed with love. They were able to love people, love lots of other things. And anybody that they came in contact learnt how to love too. Now this ring had been had been in the world for thousands and thousands of years and some people had worn it and like all rings it had got lost and then somebody else had found it picked it up and they'd worn it and then they'd lost it or passed it on to somebody else for some reason now our story begins when a little girl found the ring in the playground at school and she put it on and suddenly she was blessed with love. Now it's up to you how you carry on with that story if you want to carry on with it. So there we are we've got several ways of playing with stories and once this session is finished you can have a go at going off and getting a box or a bag and putting your objects in and doing stories. Um, just before we go, there are a couple of things that I want to tell you about. If you've got any stories that you develop from these exercises before we do our next session on storytelling and playmaking, you can email us on calmandcreative at redearththeatre.com. We'd love to see the stories or hear them. If you can write them down for us and draw pictures, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And email them to calmandcreative at redearththeatre.com. So all I have to say now is go well and stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.